Well, here's a video we haven't done for a long time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. And for a Saturday afternoon, it's profile time. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. Well, like I said, we haven't done one of these videos for a long time because normally we do them when we do the IT acquisitions video, but I thought for this one we'd do a profile video of both the Acer laptops that I picked up on, when was it, Thursday, which we had a look at during the IT acquisitions video. Now, we've got the Acer P257 uh, laptop with the smashed screen, um, which has developed some more problems. Um, we'll have a look at those when we go upstairs. And also that big uh, Acer 7720 laptop, which the, the more I look at it, I actually think it's actually a forebearer to my big 7750G laptop strangely enough so we'll have a look at both of them now the 7720 was going to be donated um i'll let you know when we go upstairs as to why that's not being donated now and the um travel mate uh, p257 has actually got more problems than just no laptop screen for it anymore however we'll have a look at all that let's head upstairs and uh do a video and i've got to be honest with you it'll be interesting to see if i can actually do it properly <laughs> Let's have a look at these two laptops I got. Let's get into it. All right, so here's the um, P257M. Now, this has actually got more problems than I thought it had. As I said in the introduction, I knew about, obviously, the screen breaking down, but what I've discovered is part of the keyboard doesn't work and part of the num number pad doesn't work either. So I've just grabbed a, my USB 2 keyboard from the media PC uh, bunged in HDMI. We'll have a quick look at some of the external I.O. You can see there, DB15 VGA Ethernet. Uh, we've got two USB 3s there. We have a card reader just there. On this side, we've got a USB 2 port and our optical drive. Our, uh, where is it? Our power's there. And um, there's our Kensington lock. Um, so the touchpad works, but um, some of the keys on the keyboard don't work, and half the number pad doesn't work either. So this is the BIOS of it. I'll zoom in here. Colors a bit washed out on the television, but you can see there it is a uh, Core i5-5200U, a 2.2 gig. Travel Mate P257-M from Acer. Um, it sort of doesn't fit in the screen properly, which is a bit unfortunate. Um, so everything's there. No virtualization enabled, which is, uh, well, no virtualization ability. So that's, uh, that's it there. As you can see, sort of be able to read it. Uh, set UEFI, as you can see. And, uh, so that's it there. Let's get out of that. So this one has Windows 10 on it, um, which considering what this laptop will be used for connected to this TV, um, I think I'll just leave Windows 10 on it. I don't think I'll bother switching it over to um, GhostBSD or OpenMan Driver. I'll just leave Windows 10 on it and um, because basically what it's going to do is this TV doesn't always get um, television properly, even though the aerial leads over there. But the way the aerial is in this joint, this TV doesn't always get it. So when the other half's in here working, as you can see with all her stuff there, um, she'll be able to stream whatever she wants to watch. She'll be able to stream through this. So we'll probably just use this for streaming TV in here. Um, I know what you're all saying. I'll put Linux on it, it'll be better, or put, you know, GhostBSD or something on it, it'll be better. Look, I think I'll just leave Windows 10 on it because it, all it's going to do is stream um, our free-to-air stations uh, or maybe a, a movie off the Plex server. So I'm not going to worry about changing the OS on it anyway. Uh, four gig of RAM, 
that's heaps. Core i5, it's only going to be for streaming anyway, so it'll just sit there and be fine with it. So um, that's what that thing will do, um, which is really good. And I'm thinking about using that other Sony Veo I picked up for a similar setup down in the bedroom. The other one I've got, which is the uh, forebearer to my big Asus 7750G laptop. This is a Travelmate. 7720 now this is the computer i was going to donate to a friend of mine's son who's as i said he's got some mental health issues unfortunately not going to happen um it uh it doesn't suit him is what i've been told so i'll probably hang on to this and drop either open man driver or ghost bsd or something onto this um I think what I'll do for my friend is I've got a uh, I've got a compact uh, Core i3, which is probably going to be better for their son. Um, I might just hang on to this for myself, so I'll have a 7750G, a 7720, and um, and obviously the uh, the two small other laptops that I've got. The one thing this will need is a RAM upgrade. This thing's only got two gig of RAM in it. Um, so I'll have to upgrade the RAM in it. Um, it's actually a really good computer. We'll power it up. Um, it's a really good computer, if I can get into it. It's a Phoenix BIOS, but... Yeah, I see, it's set to quick boot. Okay, all right. Uh, it's got Windows 10 on it. Now, had I been giving it to my mate, it would have had Windows 10 taken off and 7 put on um, because uh, of, of his child. Um, and uh, they only have two... They have one laptop and their young son requires the laptop that often. And um, with what he uses, it's Windows-based. Uh, for educational purposes, um, and unfortunately, um, they upgraded to 10, and their son just, he couldn't handle it. He could not handle it. So they had to wind it back to 7. Um, and so, but this thing just isn't right for him. So uh, I will, I won't run Windows on this. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, so we'll go up to the system, have a bit of a sticky beak through this one as well. Um, shush. So this one here is a Core 2 Duo T8300 at 2.4 gig, 2 gig of RAM, so I'll need to put more RAM in it for myself. But this will probably end up with, um, uh, as I said, either Open Man Driver or um, Ghost BSD. Although I've already got a BSD laptop, so I might just put Open Man Driver on this one, um, which will be all right. Okay, so with this one, uh, we have megabit nick not gigabit megabit we have a db15 vga s video usb there um it'll be usb 2 only card reader on the front um ir audio io uh switches for wi-fi and bluetooth i think it's bluetooth isn't it was it just ir oh no bluetooth so yeah so switches for IR and Bluetooth, DVD optical drive, and on the back, three USB 2s and a 56K dial-up modem. And the hard drive is in there. I wonder if this is the one that can take two hard drives. I might have to look into that. But there we go. So they're the two laptops. Um, yeah, so unfortunately, this as I said, this is the one I was going to donate and... Um, it doesn't suit them, so but that's fine. That's fine. I do have another laptop I can probably offload. This one, we'll just leave it as the streamer. You can see there, Windows 10. That's all it's going to need. Um, 
you know, I mean, I know most of you will probably sit there and go, get rid of Windows 10 and just put, put Linux on it and leave it in command line. And the other half doesn't understand command line structure. So, but there we go. So they're the two units I got. Um, be interesting to see what the audio is like on this one. I should check that out. Hopefully the audio is all right. The audio on this one's not great. Um, it's got a busted, um, I think these things use piezo type speakers in them. Um, it's as, it, it's all crackly. So, but that's all right. With a plugged in via HDMI, I can come out the speakers here on the television. And that'll be, that'll be perfectly all right. There's the mess of cables the other half tripped over. <laughs> so there we are. There's a quick couple of profiles of these two laptops I've got. And uh, that's it. There we go. Anyway, uh, try and get the rear pro done today. If not, we'll uh, we'll get stuck into that thing tomorrow. That's actually quite a nice picture. That looks like that's up the high country of Victoria at this time of year. <laughs> anyway, stick around. We'll see what else crops up on the channel today. Until then, as always, we shall catch you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.